Okay, and welcome back to Zoink TV, I'm Andrew Weir, and today we're going to look at one key command on Blender 2.65, which I only came across earlier today in another random tutorial because it's not usually something that I would search for, so I figured not many other people are going to be searching for this, and if I mention it now, then it'll just be a lot better than you searching for yourself eventually when you come across the problem. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to move the origin point because at the moment it's at the centre of this cube, which means in object mode, if we're rotating this, then it's going to be rotating from there, and I'd much rather it be rotating from this point in centre there. Um, and obviously the origin point is used for more things than just rotating and things, so it's more useful to have it in the centre of the shape rather than at the side. And what we can do with this is we can uh, we can press Control Alt Shift C to get the set the origin, and we can we've got two main options and an origin to free a cursor, which is also useful. Um, but the two top options are the best. So what we can do is we can move the geometry to the origin, which means moving the entire shape so that this point here is in the center, or we can press Shift Control Alt C again and we'll get origin to the geometry which is a lot more useful because it moves nothing apart from the origin to the center of the shape which is obviously quite useful because now I rotate this and it's fine I can scale it and it's not moving anywhere it's only going into the center so eventually that'll become more useful I figured not many people are just going to search for that they'll probably come across it at some point and so I figure I get ahead but what we can also do is if I go into edit mode and we've got a really complicated shape here, uh, although it's just two cubes, we'll say it's a really complicated shape. And we know where we want the origin, so let's say we want it on this vertex here. So I can press um, Shift S to get the snap options, and I'll just snap the cursor to selected, putting the cursor right there. And then in object mode, Shift Control Alt C, origin to 3D cursor. And now I've got the scale and thing at that point there. Really useful. Um, I haven't seen it before really uh, because I never really thought about it. But I hope you found that useful and I thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.